You smell like ginger ale. How are y'all doing today? My God, Jeffrey. Stop talking like that. You're creeping the viewers out. Well, it smells so good to me. Cue intro. that wonderful intro and um today i'm not gonna be doing anything stupid funny or bad but uh sorry to say that guys yeah i'm here to talk and cope and vlog about it um yeah i've had some troubles in my past and i'm here to talk about it First things first. You don't you hate it when an ex? Don't you? Don't you? Don't you feel good? Oh, well, well I messed that song up, didn't I? But all jokes aside, I really got my heart broken a lot of times. But seriously, I got it broken a lot of times. Proof, it, proof being. Kirito and Asuna. I met this girl at a job I worked at, or still work at actually, and she seemed very nice to me. Did, and we went out together, despite my uh, my blindness, or so I'm told, blindness of um, the fact that she was trying to get with other guys. So I'm told. Um, And I didn't want to see it. I didn't see it. But I uh, opened my eyes now. So apparently. All that time. I was talking and everything. And then. One time. She came over to the new house that I live in currently. And. Well that was the day. That was the day my life ended. In my head. <laughs> Seriously, um, it, it was the worst part of my life. How? How is it the worst part of your life? How? How is that the worst part of your life? Because that was the day that she broke up with me because apparently, well, her and her mom decided that would be a good idea to just, you know, Scorpion whipping my whip their hands into my chest and yank out my heart um, and eat it for breakfast because little did I know that because of the factor that I had to move beforehand story time she ended up giving me a bunch of stuff games two games that she found prized possessions of course now I know um and a bunch of stuff that she wanted to give to me for my birthday. Now knowing that, little did I know, well, that her mom never wanted her to give me the stuff that she gave to me prior to that. So she ends up giving me these two games and letting me borrow them. I intended to, deal, to give them back. I did, I really did. And then, and then she, you know, left me because apparently my mom, okay, so long story short, I actually keep in touch with my mom a lot more than I should because I have ADHD and another dis disability called Asperger's or Autism Spectrum Disorder as they call it in professionals. Um, I, uh, I kind of was not only blind to see this with her, you know, doing what she was doing around other guys, but, hold on, but, um, 
she was also breaking up with me after that because her mom told her not not to give me anything and she did it anyway and it ended up resorting in when I moved her stuff got lost in the move aka the two games that she gave me and I don't know if her mom found that suspicious or she found that suspicious because it wasn't at all and all you girls out there saying that sounds suspicious as hell it's not I mean it I actually lost it in a move. Boys move stuff and they end up losing them sometimes. Deal with it, please. For the story's sake. Anyway. I, uh... I lost them. And it resulted in her blowing up my phone when I had to go to work the next morning. Constantly. Constantly. And constantly. And constantly. And so I had to call my own mother to tell her what was going on and ask her if she could replace the games, which I intended to do anyway. But I had to, you know, you know, make it go faster. And she was right at the point of, you know, snapping. So she said, Kyle, or that's my name, Kyle, if, if she's blowing up your phone constantly, then block her for temporary she took this as a total in um dare I say it you know attack and it wasn't because it wasn't responding to her she she assumed that I was just trying to hide something it wasn't and well we broke up because of the factor that you know, she thought I was lying, and I clearly wasn't. I moved from a hotel. Hotel movers sometimes can be shifty as heck. And by shifty, I mean, like, they can move stuff, and they don't really remember where they put them. I didn't even remember where I put them. So you expect some dude or girl or someone who doesn't even know me <laughs> to, to remember where I put my stuff and move it? They probably assumed it was someone else's. So, she broke up with me after that because of her mom saying, Hey, um, I don't want you ever speaking to my daughter again because you're a liar and a cheater and you're a piece of shit. So, yeah, I broke down and cried after that. I never forgot her. But, this is where you guys come in. She bashed me over online space via this site, YouTube. And that was the nail in the coffin. She... What the heck? She not only torched my name on YouTube, but she broke my heart. And I'll never forget it. I really miss her and I'll always miss her. So if So let me look at the camera when I say this. If you're listening, you know who you are. You really broke me that day. I know I don't deserve a chance or a second chance. But I at least respect it. And like it if you'd actually give me a chance at being a friend. At the very least. Now. That aside. Um, if you guys want to see another video like this. Hit me up on any social media. I'll make another episode. Talking about my second ex. Um, and how she broke up with me. Um, I may just make another video like this. I'm not trying to profit off of this stuff. I just want to speak. Um, it sucks because, you know, what can you do? I, I absolutely adored her. She was my first love, my first kiss, and it sucks that things like that happen.
But, uh, yeah. See you guys next time. Remember, hold your swords high, stay random, and never lose your life. Bye.